Hey there. Welcome to a very warm, that's why I'm a little sweaty, um, sunny day in Monta, Ecuador. So at the Monta airport, there are two uh, airlines that service this particular airport, uh, Avianca and Latam. So I thought it was about time to do a good head-to-head -head comparison of the two airlines. So if you're uh, cruising around Ecuador, or at least both fly through most of Latin America, you get a feel for the different premium economy classes. Neither one of these on this route has a business class, so I'm comparing pre premium economy on both airlines. I hope you enjoy the comparison. So Avianca and Latam both fly in frequently about the same time to Montes Airport. And this is uh, just a shot I couldn't resist sharing of both planes on the tarmac. We'll do Avianca first, since that is the jet that happens to be pulling up at this particular point in time. This was from Monta to Quito. The jet they're flying today and every day is the A320. If you ever had any doubts that I was not a professional at taking video and editing video, this next clip is going to put those doubts to rest. I apologize for the weird angle, but it's all I got of the seat. So this is where Avianca actually signs. They've got this uh, premium economy seat that is a little larger. It's got this nice expandable headrest and the center is not blocked. It's actually a separate center piece making the seat a little wider and has a very nice USB and charger port there for you. The seat is wider than a normal airline seat as far as coach seats and it's uh, got a fair amount of leg room. This is obviously a bulkhead but the back seats uh, in the first three rows, that's the premium economy, have these wider seats and uh, about three inches extra of leg room, which is important for a big old six foot three gringo like me. So this was a short flight, only 40 minutes, but they had a full menu on board. Uh, good coffee, desserts. All I had was a Coke, but they had, you know, spirits to drink, wine, and um, it wasn't bad looking. Like I said, all I had was a Coke on this 40 minute flight. I should point out that everything was uh, for price. There was nothing complimentary on this flight even when you booked pre premium economy. The only thing you got was a nicer seat than the first three sections of the airline. Okay, let's take a peek at the LATAM offering now. I flew this from Quito back to Mata. So they fly at A319. So pretty close to the same plane. Uh, I'm sure real uh, flight, flight of files, I'm not sure what you call them, uh, Flight aficionados would uh, have a great detail on the difference between A320 and A319, but they're pretty close to me. A little better at my video on this flight. As you can see, they blocked the middle seat on the first three rows with, in some extra leg room. That is your premium economy. The seats, though, are the same width as a normal seat, although you have the more leg room, which, again, for a big old uh, six foot three guy like me, that's kind of handy. These seats aren't any wider. I did appreciate that on the Avianca part, but this is only a 40 minute flight and you didn't have anybody sharing elbow room with you since the middle seat's blocked. So the service on this, uh, the, f the food service is complimentary, no extra price, but it consists basically of chips and some sort of soda pop or coffee. Um, it was not exciting. Um, although I did appreciate having some soda and chips because I always like those. I'll let you decide uh, a larger menu that's fee-based or a brief menu that's all comped, uh, whether or not you consider which one better for a premium economy service. All right, now that you've seen the planes, let's uh, talk about uh, what they're actually like. So Avianca is a Star Alliance, that's United Group. Latam is a Delta partner. Uh, so what you like may depend on who your um, uh, miles are with. They all basically serve uh, all of South America and Latin America. One's based in Colombia, and Latam's based in Chile. They're uh, really similar airlines from that respect. I, I don't know their financials or anything, but just looking on the surface, they're very similar airlines. Both have gates up in the U.S. and Canada, uh, down in the uh, Miami LAX area. Uh, I have only flown them within the confines of Latin America. I've never actually flown them up to the States. I might try it someday, though. So this is a one-way trip from Quito to Manta, uh, both at the top fare billing for the premium economy. 
as you can see, the prices are close-ish. I mean, 85,108. I will point out that those were the prices on the day I was doing this comparison lookup, which I think I targeted like January or no February 25th. Completely random day in the future. Uh, I've seen these prices vary quite a bit, where the who, who's cheaper is completely reversed. So it's worth checking both of them out. Uh, the other thing worth looking at is the bag check allowance. On Latam, you have three bags that you can check at 23 kilos each. Aviac, only one that you can check. I'm sure they'll let you check more and pay more, but on Latam, it is three. That's uh, obviously an advantage if you're traveling heavy. If you're doing a one-bag travel thing, eh, who cares? Uh, but that's probably the most distinctive thing I've seen between them. Uh, and, of course, scheduling and you know, what, what, who's got the cheaper price that day, it will vary from day to day, of course. I will say that in the uh, Quito to Monta to Cuenca, that sort of market that they both cover, and they're the primary airlines covering that route, they tend to be very close. It's a nice little healthy competition for keeping the prices good. So as you can see, both airlines are pretty close. They're pretty good offerings. I'm a little biased towards that nice large seat that Avianca has, but if I'm checking several bags, I'm probably gonna take that uh, LATAM offering for three check bags, and especially on a short flight where the those larger seats are nice, but just not super important compared to having three check bags. I hope you find this information uh, interesting. If you do, click subscribe. I like subscribers. Take care, happy travels.